Today we're going to be talking about pistol damage scaling. Now out of all the pistols in the game that aren't unique, and even the unique ones I don't think compete with this one, the best pistol in the game from my research is the Advanced, which is tier 4, Varun Star Shard. In the game files there is a 5th tier, it, it has no name and I've never seen it drop. But let's talk about the pistol mods, Focus Nozzle, Annihilator Rounds, and Amplifier are the way to go. Here is the tooltip damage. It is 54 physical and it's 128 energy. I'm going to tell you all of the perks that allow you to scale this damage even higher, which uh, this is the tooltip damage with nothing leveled up at all in anything. And the reason this pistol is the best in the game is as follows. The Star Shard is a multi-class weapon. It also creates a static pop, which it's rare, but uh, if you shoot a target enough, they will get infected with this static popping kind of animation. Uh, whenever Sarah gets back up, you'll see that she's taking damage over time. This has a very long duration, so if you shock aliens, there we go. Uh, she's taking for 21 damage a pop, and this, again, it lasts for a while. So, uh, and you can shoot aliens with this multiple targets, it's going to nuke them. But more importantly, the Star Shard also counts as a pistol, it counts as a laser gun, it counts as a particle beam gun. And so it receives the damage buffs from all three magazine types. I believe each magazine is 5%. There's four currently found for each category in the game. So that's a 45% damage increase that I cannot show in today's video, but it is possible to buff that. Here's a giant wall of text of info dumps, which I'm going to show you further in this video how much this scales the damage and by how much you can expect to hit enemies for. Pistols 4, 50% damage, 25% crit on kill for 5 seconds. This might be bugged, it's really weird and wonky, it sometimes works and most of the time I don't think it's working correctly. Lasers 4, 30% damage, 5% to set target on fire, and uh, yeah, so fire is another damage over time. So we have two damage over times with this weapon. And if you get uh, a Tesla, then that would be three, but uh, I've never found that. Uh, particle Beams 4, that is a 5% crit chance, 30 damage. Marksmanship 4, 50% crit chance, a 100% crit damage. And we're going to be critting like crazy with this weapon. This is the crit weapon in the entire game. Also, uh, this weapon, you can't equip a scope to it unless maybe you find like a bugged one somewhere. That would be really neat, but I've never found one. You can't craft it on there. The reflex scope does not count as a scope, by the way, or reflex sight, rather. It has to be a zoomable scope. Rapid reloading is 60% uh, reload speed and 50% interrupt resist. When you proc it, that's another 50% reload speed. So you double your reloads. That It caps at 100 from... I've recorded a bunch of different reloads and, and played it frame by frame. It seems to only be 100%. Armor penetration 4, 50% armor pin and 25% more crit on kill for 6 seconds. Crippling 4, 100% damage to downed enemies, but if they're downed, they're basically one shot. So it's just it's just faster to kill them. It's not really worth uh, specking into, but hey, if you got the points, go for it. Sharp shooting for 50% crit damage is huge. 25% crit chance proc on kill for 20 seconds is also massive. You definitely want this. Targeting four is pretty useless, but if you do get it, it's a 10% disarm on hip fire, which I don't. I rarely hip fire, but it gives you more auto aim boost even for PC with with mouse controls. So if you're lazy, go for it, I guess. It also marks enemies, but you can you can get that as an add-on anyway. Isolation 4. I'm going to teach you in the video how to use Isolation, but it's a 40% damage boost. Stealth 4 is a 20% sneak damage boost. Concealment 4 means your stealth attacks deal now your stealth attacks deal four times more damage or a 400% damage boost. Stats, um, the total stats here, 150% damage increase. Without magazines, without item buffs, which would be an 85% increase. You also get the 530% damage on stealth attack, and if they're downed, it's another 100. 5% chance to set them on fire, 5% chance for the static damage over time. You double your reload speed. The disarm is bugged, it doesn't work, but when it's fixed, you'll have a 10% chance to disarm. If you do not, you know, aim down sights. 75% crit chance... With all procs active, it's also bugged, like, and once they fix it, it'll be 75% crit chance, not counting your base crit chance, which I think is 5%, so it's really 80% crit chance. And then you deal 
200% crit damage. This means that you deal triple the damage that you normally would, which is crazy. Now, I think your crit chance might actually be 200 and or crit damage is 250%. But let's get to the damage numbers with no skills allocated. You headshot for 309 and you body shot for 155. Here we go with damage numbers. This is why you clicked on this video to see how much pistols can scale. When you start out with no skills, you do 309 headshot, 155 body, pistols one, pistols one, lasers one, pistols two, lasers one, pistols two, lasers two. It starts ramping up here pretty soon. Just keep paying attention. Pistols three, lasers three, 601 headshots, 301 body shots. Pistols 3, lasers 3, particle beams 1, it ramps up. When you have all 3-3-3, three, 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 uh, I started logging crits here. So you crit for 1.2k, you headshot for 781, you body shot for 391, you crit for 634 on a body shot. Now, once you get Markmanship 4, your crits are now almost 2,000 for headshot and 1,000 for body shot, just about a, a couple points, you know, below. And then with Marksman 4, Sharpshooting 4, and then 333 of the aforementioned, your crits now deal 2,729 to head, 1,364 to body, and of course non-crits still do the same amount of damage with the 3 pistol, 3 laser, 3 particle beam. Once you have all of that and you have isolation, and I'll, I'll, I'll teach you how isolation works. You deal 3,000 crit to head, you deal 1,500 crit to body, you now headshot normally for over a thousand and you body shot for 500. So before I continue the numbers, let me teach you about isolation and how it works. Isolation says when you have no crew and you have no party members, but that's false or it's bugged. So you can clearly have a ship crew active, as you can see. Uh, it doesn't matter if you have a ship crew active, don't worry about it. Uh, the only time that applies is when you're in a ship. So don't worry about that. But for party members, all you have to do is tell your party member to wait. That puts you in solo mode and that buffs your damage. So you can see here, Sarah, yeah, uh, she's set to wait mode. That's why I have the choice, let's get moving. Sure. So when I have her set to let's get moving and I shoot her body, 391. And then when I tell her to wait here, and then I shoot her body again, 547. You can see there's a damage boost of 40%. Anyway, let's keep scrolling now. Once you have everything above and then you have Stealth 4 and Concealment 4, it gets a little buggy. I was receiving two different white damage numbers. One for headshot, one for body shot. Um, but none of them were red numbers, so they, they didn't say crits. But because there's two different numbers, just randomly, I think that one of them is a crit, it's just not telling me. So 6,321 to a headshot. And here's how to kind of glitch Concealment. So the way it works is if you're in front of an enemy or an ally, it doesn't matter, and you crouch, you go into stealth for a second, and then you're technically discovered, right? So what you want to do is, as soon as your crouch animation finishes, left click for the sneak damage. So just like that, that was actually, that one didn't work. That was a normal headshot, as you can see on the damage numbers above. So I didn't time it right. It's really, it's really tricky with the timing, but you essentially, right as soon as you're done with the crouch animation, so what you do is, if you're fighting an enemy, you line your cursor up with their head, you stand up, right when you crouch, you left click them, 4,374, or 73 there. So that's how you can uh, abuse concealment to deal four times damage, even if you're not in stealth, even if you're in the middle of a firefight, it's pretty damn broken. Also, now I will show you the difference between no rapid reload and rapid reload. So this is without rapid reload, we pull it out. Stick it in, there we go. And now with rapid reload, as you can see here, a uh, chance on hit, it's just a chance on hits to increase reload speed for all weapons by 50% for 15 seconds. So we're gonna go hit some allies here, see if we get the buff. I don't know if I have the buff or not, but uh, I don't know, <laughs> we'll see. And then here's the reload, look how fast that is. Oh, that's so fast, oh, it's so amazingly fast. Now that you've seen the damage numbers, let's see how we do against some random enemies. We're just gonna run around and there we go. We're just basically one tapping everybody. And yes, I know these are like low level enemies. We're marking that one with the tracking. And uh, you can see that we can see them through walls. I did miss a few shots there. So the hip firing, not the best, but uh... <laughs> oh man, they're just uh, evaporating. <laughs> 
Shoot this one in the legs. Oh, he's just dead. He just he just crumpled over. His life was it just ended immediately. There we go. Again, we're one tapping headshots there. Ever nothing survives. <laughs> Uh, it's nice to be able to see them kind of through the walls. It's just a nice little quality of life. It feels like you're aimbotting. For those that don't know what that is, it's when you use a cheat program in a game to uh, see people through walls. So, and auto lock onto them, of course. Oh no, he's killed, he's dead in one hit. Let's see if we can hit this guy, he's being shocked. Is that guy being shocked? No, he just blew up. Yeah, he is being shocked a little bit. His, his health is kind of draining a bit. So is this guy. You see his health draining? There we go. And uh, <laughs> just pop them. And am I on very hard? I, th I think I am, maybe. Yeah, I'm on very hard. So this is on very hard. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's why the normal enemies dropped a, a purple there. Uh, normally, normal enemies don't drop purples. What about melees? 80 damage for crit. You don't want to melee with this build. You want to definitely shoot everything you can. Let's move on to the next zone. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, also, if do I do I ha I don't have a cutter, um, but if I did, I bet it. I, I wonder, does it buff cutter damage? Uh, <laughs> it's worth checking out. Oh, let's kill this guy. He's trying to melee me. One thousand one hundred thirty-seven, and uh, yeah, there we go. Let's look at them all. Oh no, easy. He cut me, guys. What am I gonna do? There we go. We're just just popping and locking. I hate that you can't. You have to cancel sprint to shoot. It, it's kind of annoying, but uh, that's just how it is. And uh, yeah, I want to test out the cutter, see if this build is viable for that. All right, let's find out uh, if we can cut some dudes. <laughs> the mining tool. Oh no, did I go in the wrong spot? I might have. Let's see, no one here. Come on, there's gotta be at least one guy to cut up. Oh, here they are. Yeah. Mining tool. Oh, yeah. Let's hold right click to charge it up, and now it does five. It's not a lot. What about what about to the face? Two. Oh, we're already out of ammo. So, cutter not viable, but, uh, you know, <laughs> pistol's super viable. I know the cutter is not a pistol, but I don't know what it's counted as. What is the cutter counted as? It is counted as a heavy weapon. So, uh, I'll save that for a heavy weapon build if you want to just, like, do, like, a cutter only run or something, but, yeah. This is the pistol, we're one-tapping everything, and obviously if I go to a high-level zone, I'm probably not going to one-tap everything. This guy has multiple health bars. Let's see. Yeah, we pretty much take all those out. But yeah, very strong, very powerful weapon. Alright, here we have super tanky high-level aliens. Uh, one-shotted, okay. <laughs> that was a level 75. That's a, that's that one's already dead. We hit the fins on that one. I think it might have it didn't die because I didn't get XP. But man, it's like halfway dead. I keep missing my shots. There we go, 69 XP. So we're two shotting. This is a level 75 planet, by the way. I went ahead and oh, we got a swarming cockroaches coming for me. There we go. Just uh, and these the this ammo is easy. Uh, let me show you. This ammo is uh, where's it at? There it is. So this is just um, light fuse. Light fuses. Those are super plentiful. Very cheap ammo. And uh, yeah, this outclasses all the other pistols in the game just because. And remember, I haven't buffed my attack damage with any kind of performance enhancing items. And I have not buffed my damage through any of the numerous magazines in the game. So uh, I don't know if there's any humanoids left in this building or not since I've cleared it out for a separate video. But, um, you know, if I find some humanoids, I'll, uh, I'll let you know. Alright, I found an instance dungeon that was a separate loading screen. So these are usually packed with really hard enemies. I gotta tell Sarah to chill. Wait here a moment. <laughs> I don't think she's gonna obey. And level 16. Well, I don't know why level 16 pirate is, you know, in a level 75 planet. But, um, yeah, these guys are, they, they die in one hit. The level 50s, at least. Let's see. Oh, he's he's this is a, a mini boss. There we go. That was one whole bar of his HP. I can try the <laughs> There we go. The, this one is in cover. That's why it's not doing any damage. I I kind of hate targeting. I'm going to be real with you guys. Targeting is super annoying, so don't get don't get targeting. You can't unlearn it once you learn it. So um 
<laughs> Load a save if you accidentally put points into it. The disarm is bugged. Also, I'm dying, apparently. Watch my health. But, uh, yeah. Pistols, really, really nice. They feel good. And it's not like you have to use this specific weapon. If you want to use a revolver and be a cowboy, you want to use uh, any of the... Uh, what is it? Uh, the revolvers that shoot like three to six bullets at a time, shotgun style. Um, <laughs> you could feel free to use those. Now, whenever I tested those weapons and used shotgun certification, it didn't count. Like, the game's not coded that way. But for whatever reason, this weapon is coded as a laser, a particle beam, and a pistol. It's not coded with ballistics, even though it has physical damage, sadly. Uh, you get nothing from that, so there's no point to do it. That guy just threw a... I thought that said something. Oh, he instantly killed me. I was not watching my HP at all. I thought I'd have time to crouch in front of him and do a lame, like, stealth attack. But it should have put me back here. Yeah, at the start. There we go. We can try again. <laughs> uh, you know, we could we could stealth around, except, you know, the, uh, the, the <laughs> companion here won't allow it. There we go. <laughs> just... Just crouch walk through the whole dungeon. And she's gonna crouch too. Oh, he's got a knife, guys. Oh, 21 foot rule. Alright, can you stay still? Can you just chill? Hurry back. Whoa, she's got a... Guys, it's that time of the month. Holy crap, there's just a gaping hole down there. Holy... Holy moly. For real. No pun intended. Danger, danger. This guy's just chilling. He's just eating his lunch. Boink! Oh, I missed? Really? Bro... Bro, I have the cursor on your head. Oh, I, when I'm chameleoned, I can't see my uh, <laughs> my iron sights. Yeah, he's uh, he didn't he didn't stand a chance. Pirate Reaver, what's that? What's the guy that killed me behind this door? I forget. It, he like I just stood in front of his spray. Oh well, it's whatever. Anyway, you guys, you got level two pirate. Get out of here. What are you being boosted by your friends or something? You just made your account. You know, you just joined the server or something. You, you accidentally fast traveled to the high level zones. Let's see. Come on, there's got to be something else. I want to fight like the main boss, and it's not Pirate Flayer. I don't think it would be level 94. That's the one that I wanted to show off. That guy's already dead. I already went in this room apparently. Already wiped him out, or maybe the companion did. Whatever. Guys, oh, yeah, she's just chilling. She's just like, hey, what's up? I killed everybody for you. Anyway, uh, this video's gone on long enough. I've shown you the power of the pistol. Make of, make use of it what you will. Do what you will with this information. I'll be covering more weapons. I've already made videos for unarmed. I've made videos for melee, and now I've got pistols done. So we still need... Why is my... Cr Look, I'm... My cursor's turning red when I'm aiming at the wall. What the frick? What's going on with that? But, um... <laughs> we got heavy weapons to do. We got rifles, shotguns, sniper rifles. Oh, things are exploding. I'm also about to die. Gross of gas. They're gassing me out. But, uh... <laughs> so, stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that. I read every single comment. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Also, let's let's try leaving this guy with the. There we, no, that didn't work. The stagger is really nice, but yeah, three shots on the level 74. That's that feels so good. That is just amazing. I might have to start a pistol build, make a cowboy build or something. But please subscribe. I'm so close to 100,000 subs. It would mean the world to me if you did. I really appreciate it. I don't know why that guy exploded. Uh, but with that said, on the right side of your screen is a video you should absolutely click. If you don't click it, then uh, you're going to accidentally lose an arm in an industrial accident, like a lathe or a band saw or something. Even though you, your life may never involve heavy machinery, at one point, th there will just be one just randomly in the, in the alleyway, and it's going to jump out and grab your arm and rip it off. So you better click the video.